I made this clock yesterday. If you want to see the video, click here. Today I'm going to start to learn how to tell the time. I'm going to learn o'clock and half past. This hand is the bigger hand down it till tells us the minutes. The red one is smaller and it tells us the hours. This minute hand here tells us how many minutes past the hour it is. So if we say it's six o'clock, yeah. exactly, that means no minutes past the hour. So this hand must be pointing up the top because that's none, it hasn't moved past the hour yet. Yeah. So when we want something o'clock, the minute hand has to point up there to the 12. Okay. So what do you think the clock should look like if we wanted it to be four o'clock? Can you move the hands to make it four o'clock? This one or this one? Ah, wh where does this one have to point? No, that one stays there, doesn't it? Because that's the minute hand. We need the hour hand to point to four. What? The four? I'll go in this way. That's the way clocks turn, isn't it? This is four o'clock because the minute hand is pointing to the top, which means o'clock, and the smaller hour hand is pointed to the four. So, Dougie, what do you think six o'clock would look like? It look like six. Now they're both pointing down and up. That's right. What? Which one's the minute hand pointing to? Um, twelve. Yep, to the top because that means o'clock. And where's the hour hand pointing? Six. Six for six o'clock. Yeah. Okay. What time do you get up in the mornings? Seven o'clock. Can you move it to seven o'clock then? It's not even time to get up, though. Okay, Dougie. Yeah. School starts at nine o'clock. Can you move it to nine o'clock? Nine is just easy to find. So where's the minute hand pointing to, Dougie? Um, twelve. And that tells us it's o'clock. Can you show me what it would look like one hour on from nine o'clock? At uh, 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 ten, I think it's at school. Uh, you'll be at school at ten o'clock. Do you know what time you get home from school? Three o'clock. So can you tell me how many hours you have to move the hour hand round to get to three o'clock? This way. Yep, that's it. Three o'clock is back here. You start school at nine o'clock. How many hours do you have to go round to get to three o'clock? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six hours, that's how long you spend at school. Six hours? What time do you go to bed? What time is that? Seven o'clock. So you go to bed at seven o'clock? Yeah. But you get up at seven o'clock. Do you go to bed the same time you get up? Yeah, because it starts again. Yeah, because there's a seven o'clock in the morning. Because it goes all the way to there and then it starts again. What it does, in the middle of the night it starts here at twelve o'clock. Yeah. Then it goes round all morning. So that's seven o'clock in the morning. And then it goes round to lunchtime in the middle of the day at 12 o'clock. And then in the afternoon, it goes all the way around again back to midnight. So it goes round twice in one day. Okay. So there's a seven o'clock in the morning. Yep. And a seven o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Or evening. So when the minutes are hands up here, that means o'clock. If we move this hand round, watch all the way to here, how far has it moved round the clock? Has it gone all the way round? It's gone only like halfway around. So when this minute hand has gone half the way around, that means it's half past the hour. This one's halfway between the six and the seven, isn't it? Yeah. So that means it's half past six. This minute hand yeah. tells us how many minutes past the hour. Okay. And it's halfway round, so that's half past. So what time do you think that is? Nine o'clock or eight, because I don't know. It's not at o'clock, is it? Because o'clock, it has to point up here. How far round has it gone? Yeah. But how far round the clock? Halfway. 
way again. So it's half past eight. Eight, because the hour hand has gone past the eight and it's halfway to the nine. What time would that be? Not o'clock. No, not o'clock. It's going to be... Ten or nine. Halfway around. Halfway around. So half just... past nine. That's right. Eight. So we say half past nine because the red hand was on the nine a little while ago, but it's gone past it. So that's why you say past nine. Okay, so if I move it to there, what are we now? How far round has this hand gone? Halfway. So it's half past. And then this hand tells you which one it's half past. So which one is it half past? 10. 11. <laughs> Can you move the minute hand to show me half past? Okay, that's right. I want it to be half past one. So we leave that one there because that's half past. So which one do you need to move to show me that it's half past one? Half past one? Yeah. That's so no, that one stays there because that's half past. It's that one that tells us. How far past the one does it have to go? Oh, that's not half past one because it hasn't gone past one yet. That's it. That's perfect. Because it's halfway between the one and the two. Can you show us half past nine? Half past nine. So think about the yellow hand for us. Do you need to move the yellow hand? No. No, that one stays there because it's half past. I'll hold it there so it stays still. Oh, that's on the nine. Where does it need to be? Half past. Yeah, but it doesn't move that way, does it? What way does it move? That's it, halfway, half past the nine. Can you move it on to half past 11? Half past 11. Do you need to move this hand? No. No, so where's that hand going? Perfect. Okay, here's a question for you now. Can you make it two o'clock? Two. But what does this hand tell us at the moment? Half. So that would be. And that one's not even got half yet. No, but we want it to be two o'clock. We don't want half past two. So where does this hand need to be at two o'clock? I'll hold that one for you so that doesn't move and move the minute hand to o'clock. Perfect. Now you know how to tell the time to o'clock and half past. So remember it guys, if the yellow hand's on the 12th, it's o'clock. And if it's on the 6th, it's half past. Next time we will learn how to turn the time to the nearest five minutes. I hope you watch it with me guys. Now I'm clucking off. Tick tock, tick tock, bye bye.